Hi everyone, this is a video tutorial for how to create an account for the State of Nevada's Applicant Tracking System and vApps. The first thing a new user should do is create an account. To do this, click on the button titled Create a Profile in the upper left. This will take you to the registration page. You'll need to input your first and last name, along with your email address. Also, you'll need to choose a user ID and password according to the on-screen guidelines to the right. When finished, click the Complete Registration button to create your account. After creating your account, you'll then need to log in with the user ID and password you just created. You will also need to enter a security question and answer in case you ever need to reset your password. When you've logged in, you'll see the jobs homepage. The next step in getting you applying for jobs is completing your applicant profile. We have a resume parsing feature that can help you get jump started. This feature is optional, but it will save you some data entry time. To do this, click on the Upload Resume button. Next, click on the Choose File button. Browse to the file on your computer and click Open. After processing, the system will return results for three main areas of your profile, contact information, employment history, and education. You will need to review these for accuracy. There are navigation buttons at the bottom and a left side menu. Review all of these items and make tweaks or remove if necessary. Once you've finished any touch-ups, go to the confirmation page. Read the descriptive text and check the box indicating that you understand. Then click on the Apply to Profile button. You will need to click yes to a confirmation message and wait for the success message to appear to confirm the data was applied. You will then be taken to the update applicant profile page where it can complete your profile. Please review each of the profile sections and enter in data as requested. Everyone should make sure to fill out the availability tab as we automatically screen for items such as work type, location and travel preferences during the application process. Veterans, make sure you've self-identified and attached supporting documentation on the Other Info tab. Once you are done, click Save. Then return to the home page by clicking on the home icon in the right-hand corner underneath the state seal. To finish up, we will give you a quick rundown of applying for a job. You can see various tile sets on the home page. You can look at all of the new postings, which are from the last seven days, by using the left and right arrow navigation, or you can do a global search to get more refined results. To see all of our current listings or perform a more refined search, you can go to the advanced search page by clicking on the slider icon in the search for a job area. Once the page loads, you can see various fields to search by such as keyword, geographic location, salary, etc. You can make selections, then click the search button to review the results. Once you find a job listing you are interested in, click on it to view the job announcement. After reading the job announcement, there is an apply button in an orange action pane near the bottom of the browser window. Click it to proceed to the pre-screening questions. The pre-screening question page will present some questions to you regarding your qualifications for the position. Answer each question and click the Next button. If you successfully pass the pre-screening you will receive a notice as such and it informs you the application is not yet complete. Click OK to view your draft job application. Here you can review your profile and update if necessary. There are navigation buttons at the bottom and a menu tree to the left side. Use either of these to go to the next sections. Be sure to check the exam section if there are any required questions to answer. 
The attachments section is where you can add additional file attachments if necessary. The signature section is where you will electronically sign the document. Make sure to select the source where you heard of the job and then click the submit button. Click OK to the confirmation message. Once completed, you will be redirected to the home page where you will see a confirmation message in the yellow notification pane. You will also see a tile in the My Applications tile set for the application you just submitted. Here you can track the status. If you hover your cursor over the tile your status and the definition will be displayed. We hope you found this video helpful.